Hey guys, how's it going? It feels like it's been a long time since I've made like a proper video, but I've been pretty busy lately, especially with the kitchen remodel that's been going on, but that's like pretty much done now and I finally found a moment to make a video. If you guys saw my last video, I talked about a Kickstarter for the organization Book Riot and I just wanted to let you know, in case you didn't, that it has been funded, so that's pretty awesome. So on to the video. I wanted to talk to you guys about the books that I'm going to be reading in the next month or so, or two months, because the book that I'm reading right now is going to take a while, and that's Les Miserables. And if you were friends with me on Goodreads, you may have noticed that my updates are like, oh look, now I'm 2% further than I was yesterday. Um, it's taking a long time to read, and it's alright so far. Things are getting interesting, and I've been reading it for a few weeks, and I'm still only like 20% done with it. But when I finish that, I'm going to be reading Cloud Atlas. This was recommended to me by a family friend, and... Um, she lent this copy to me, so I'll be reading it to return it back to her within a polite amount of time. I did already read, like, the first page or two, and it seemed pretty interesting, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Let me know if you've read it. I'm definitely interested in what you guys think. And depending on when I finish those books, I will be reading Divergent for the first time. I know, I haven't ever read it. I have it on hold at the library and I'm at like position number six right now and it, the list is moving really slowly so I'm not sure exactly when I'll read that but soon I will definitely read it. I'll also be finishing Fahrenheit 451 at some point. I could have finished it like five times over by now but I've kind of been waiting for uh, John and Hank's videos about part two. I'm almost done reading part two. I could probably finish it in like 10 minutes. I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I will be finishing this soon. Another book that I really want to read that has been on my shelf for a long time that I need to read is The Secret Garden. A couple of my friends on here have read this recently, and I loved the movie growing up, like the 1995, I think, version. I just... It was so amazing, it was one of my favorite movies, but I've never read the book, so I'm definitely really looking forward to this. And another book that has been on my shelf for a while, and has existed for a long time that I haven't read, is Tom Sawyer. And if you watched my yard sale haul, you will know that this is a very old edition of Tom Sawyer with illustrations by Norman Rockwell. And I've read Huckleberry Finn and thought it was really great, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. I watched Dean Gornitis' review of this. That just kind of inspired me to just read this already. And then, of course, in September and October, I will be reading Under Wildwood by Colin Malloy and Stardust by Neil Gaiman and The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, which were in my pre-order video. So that's nine books total, and I think I've read 21 books so far this year, and my goal is to read 30 books. So if I read all of those in the next couple months, I will have reached my goal. But depending on how long Les Miserables takes, it might last me till the rest of the year. I've also acquired three new books on my shelves in the past month or so. The first one is Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin, which is not connected to A Song of Ice and Fire, but I saw this in the store and it was like 25% off, so I decided to get it since I really like his writing and his storytelling. I don't often read vampire novels, which this is, so it should be interesting, and if you've read it, let me know what you thought. Speaking of A Song of Ice and Fire, I also bought A Feast for Crows, the fourth book in the series, and I've actually owned this for a month or two and haven't even read a single word, which I am amazed that I've been able to do that since I love the series and really want to know what happens next. But I've got so many other books that I just need to read that I haven't started this one yet. But I will definitely finish it before the next series starts so that I'm not spoiled on anything that they might include a bit early. And the most recent book I bought at an antique store when I was visiting family. 
and that is this copy of Vanity Fair. It's a book that has been on my to reads list for a while. I haven't ever seen the movie, so once I read this, I'll definitely look forward to watching that. And this edition is a 1981 edition, and it also has illustrations by the author. And it's a really beautiful copy, so I'll probably include it in an upcoming video of mine where I talk about the visual side of books. So I may be reading this sometime soon as well. Oh, I should show you my scarf. So um, if you watched my Stitch and Bitch video, you saw the scarf that I was working on. Well, I finished it. I pretty much worked on it the entire time I was watching the Olympics. So I got it done pretty quickly and it's complete with tassels and everything. So I really love it.